If you're following along with me, you will want to have step two import content with repeat grid visible in the practice file and the layers panel open. If I hold down the spacebar, it will temporarily change my select tool to a hand tool. I can move that artboard over a little bit more to the center of the screen so I can see it more easily. What I'm looking to do here is to simulate a product catalog of chairs. So I want to take this tile that I have designed and repeat it across and down the artboard. Now I can always come in and select this content and just copy and paste it over and over again. But instead, I would like to use a productivity feature known as repeat grid. To do this, what I want to do is actually import images and text into my XD application. You're going to want to navigate to where you installed the practice file. For the get started with XD design. In the practice file folder is another folder called chair images and text. I'll go ahead and navigate over to that. And you can see I've got two text files and a number of images of chairs. Now that I've located those images, I will switch back to XD. And what I would like to do is repeat this tile that I have created, as I mentioned, across and down on the screen. Notice in the layers panel here on the left, I'm currently with nothing selected on the design canvas. At a high level, I can see all the artboards that are on my current design canvas. If I come in and click on any of the content within this artboard, so let's say I click on the tile, the title, notice that XD navigates me inside of the artboard to see all of the layers. All of the objects, any groups that I might have defined here in the structure. If I click on, let's say a group, I can expand it to see the content within it. Clicking it second time is going to collapse that backup. I can always go back to the root level of the file by clicking on this back arrow, which will take me back up a level. But now I'm in gray shape. What I want to do is come in and select the product tile. I can either do that by clicking on that layer here on the left, or I can just click on it directly on the design canvas. With that selected, here in the properties inspector on the right, I want to click on the repeat grid tackle. When I click on, on the design canvas, XD is going to change the selection color. 
from blue to green. And it's going to include two little handles here. I can work with these handles to repeat whatever I have selected as a grid. I'm going to go ahead and press and drag until I get a second tile visible. I'm kind of over drag just a bit, little bit. It's kind of hanging off the side right now. And with that bottom handle, I'm going to press and drag until I get about six tiles visible. I want to zoom in a little bit more just to see better what I'm doing. So I can come here and just zoom in more tightly. Again, using my trackpad. When I hover over this repeat grid, now I've gone in and extended it. Notice that I get some pink areas as I hover over with my selection tool. I can come in and adjust the space on the gutter between these items. By hovering over and then just pressing. And dragging the expand to reduce uh, that space. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in so that things line up really well on the left and the right. It's a little bit tricky, but it looks pretty good. There's not a ton of space open between the two. I might want to adjust the bottom section as well. It looks pretty good to me also. But I will drag that down just to increase the space a bit more. I'm now ready to come in and vary the image. The title and the price for the chairs. For that, I will switch back over the folder where I have my images and text. And the next thing I want to do is grab enough images to replace. All six of the tiles that I have visible. You can select from the set that I have here. I'll give you some extras. I'm going to, uh, going to press and drag and select these six images. It can be any six. And now all I want to do is press and drag it here into XD. And I want to drag over that image tile. Now notice when I do it, I can drag onto the larger tile or inside of it. I've placed the chair image. Now I want you to drag in the second smaller rectangle. Notice that I get a number six. It's letting me know how many images I'm dragging on to the canvas. And as I mentioned, it's going to sort of randomly place all these images to replace that default yellow chair that I had. That looks good for the images. I want to change now the title and the price to match my particular content. So I'm going to switch back over that folder. 
And this time I want to do is select chair titles. I'll go ahead and select it. When I come onto the XD design canvas and I drag over the first word share room. So the first tile where I see the title, I'm going to drag right on top of it. And when I release it, XD is going to replace all of those titles with the ones that were in the text file. Now, this is very simple text file with each title and then a hard return. or a line break indicating the next title in the list. Very, very simple text file. I want to do the same with my prices. So I'll go back to that folder. And here in the folder, I'm going to select share prices. Press and drag onto the price field and just below the title. I can tell I'm in the right place because it highlights as I hover over it. And when I release, it's adjusted those prices based on that text file. Now, that I have that set, I can look at real content in my design and see if I want to make any adjustments. I would like to come in and uh, actually change that price and move it up a little closer to the title. I can do that by coming here in the layers panel And I will select on the artboard and then in the layers panel. I'm going to click on product price range. So I have it selected. Notice as I do so, if I hover just above the price range, I can get an indicator for the spacing between the title and the price. And I can just press and drag either down to make it lower or tighten things up and just drag up pretty tight here. Let's say about three pixels of space between the title and the price. So the changes that I made here in the first cell are going to apply to all the other cells within this repeat grid. I'll go ahead and click off again and just take a look at my finished work. Well, now that we have content on this artboard, Let's go ahead and add a little bit of interactivity in the next step.